I've literally spoken to hundreds of international families about the college process and how to go about getting a golf college scholarship. And I recommend this little tool called the matrix. I, I call it the matrix because you actually create a matrix of golf scores and academic scores to plot out the schools that are a good fit for you. I recommend kind of a one third, one third, one third. You can have some stretch dream schools, some schools that you project you'll be able to get into and where you comfortably could get into right now. And what you do is you, you, you plot it out, you, um, you put your current golf scores and your academic GPA, SAT, where you are right now. Um, and then let's say you're 16 years old, you project out into the future an SAT score that you think you might be able to get, uh, how your golf may improve, and you build lists of schools based on those projections. It's a great little tool and I suggest you start that as, you know, as early as middle school. My recommendation for middle school students is go and take a look at campuses to get a feel of what kind of school you'd like to attend. Big, small, division one, division two. But ninth grade, you need to start the process very seriously. And I strongly suggest that you try the matrix and plot your schools out. I'm quite a visual person, so let me show you how it works. Okay, so here's our tool we call the matrix. So this top line are your golf scores. We'll call this golf scores. And this continuum or this line right here, academic scores. And we're gonna use SAT scores because GPAs are just very different in different countries. So SATs are just easier. So we'll start down here with 1,000, 1,100, whoops, 1,200, 1,300, 14, 15, 16, you get the picture, right? So you put your SAT score over here and here your golf score. So we'll start with maybe 68 over here, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, and you can make this matrix fit wherever you feel you're at. So let's say you're 15 years old uh, maybe you haven't taken the SAT, but you know that you're a pretty good student and you might want to plot your SAT, predict that it would be right around here and you're shooting about 76 now. So these are the schools you want to look for. Okay, so this is your first little grouping of schools. And then you project that in a couple of years, you're going to shave off some, some shots, uh, probably be a scratch golfer, let's just say, and you want to work hard on your SATs, your goal is to have a 1300, and you might want to look for some schools right around here. So the key thing, if you recall earlier, me talking about realistic expectations, you want to find the schools that match you academically and match your golf ability, or where you feel your golf ability will be in one, two, or three years, depending on where you are in this process. So what you do is you create your lists on this matrix, you go to your resources, which are uh, golf week for college rankings to see where the scores, where the average scores are of these schools. You can go to US News and I'll give you some of those resources. Find the schools that fit you and then that's how you build your list. Really easy, but uh, something that I encourage you to focus your energy and your, your effort on because this little tool can really help you identify the schools that are the best fit for you. Good luck.